I've seen the comments going around about the appointment of Mariana Mazzucato to the Pontifical Academy of, for Life. And, um, you know, it's quite obvious. Um, we can see that this lady is uh, pro-abortion and actually anti-Catholic in, in many of her, the people she supports. And, you know, this is creating a lot of uh, anxiety and confusion about what's going on in Rome. And I generally, in my podcast, I've stopped talking about what's going on in Rome, what the Pope is doing, because it creates so much sadness among Catholics that anything we say about the Pope or what's happening in Rome, you, you create, it's, it's hard to navigate. Um, but I do call out the fact that they have appointed her. I do call out the fact that of all the people we could appoint in our Catholic institutions or to help us in our Catholic, in our mission as Catholics, they had to choose her. Um, and I only hope, I only pray to God that maybe they didn't know. I know this people will say, oh, Robert, are you, what are you smoking or something like that? Well, I only pray to God that, that maybe they didn't know. Maybe the Pope has, has lost his marbles and he's, he's, he's gone senile and he didn't know. Maybe, you know, you look for explanations instead of the obvious that they intentionally appointed somebody who is pro-abortion. And she is pro-abortion. She's pro-choice. Um, I don't know. All I can say is Our Lady warned us about these times many, many times. She warned us in Garabandal, and she warned us in 1973 in her messages to Akita that a time would come when cardinals and bishops would oppose cardinals and bishops. And we see Cardinal Muller opposing what the Pope is doing, coming out. And a Cardinal Muller, who isn't just any old cardinal, he is he's a former prefect of the Doctrine of the Faith, and he's opposing what the Vatican is doing. These are unprecedented times. And so what more can me, a lay blogger, say about this situation? I have nothing more to add. I don't think I can, me adding anything in my blog is going to change anything in the church. All I would say is know your faith and pray for the church. But one thing that did come to prayer, and I will share it with you here. You know, something that came to prayer was Peter will carry Mary's Immaculate Heart to the throne in Rome. That Peter will ascend to the throne to the papacy with Mary's Immaculate Heart. What that means, I have no idea. We should see where, how that plays out. But Peter will ascend to the papacy with Mary's Immaculate Heart in his hands. Um, and we will see the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary start with Peter. So pray, pray for these times. Pray for the papacy. You know, pray for what's happening in Rome. Um, all is not lost. Um, Peter will carry Mary's Immaculate Heart when he ascends to the throne, when he becomes Pope. So pray for the church. God bless. Take care. Bye bye.